we are going to go over the G5 wide receivers that are coming back this year that have provided the most value for their teams. So we will start off on a PPA per play. That is predicted points added. It is uh, a metric that is used over college football data. And we're going to go from 10 to 1 here. But these are guys that you need to know the name of because they are the ones that are coming back that have already shown that they add a ton of value to their team. So every time they touch the ball, something good can end up happening here. And we'll start off with number 10, and that's uh, DeCorian Clark, wide receiver at UTSA. Uh, 71 plays, .837 PPA per play, uh, predicted points added. So uh, nearly, nearly one point per play, like not too shabby. Jalen Wayne, number nine, wide receiver at South Alabama. Yeah, you thought that when they lost uh, their their other big-time receiver, and I forget his name, um, I will figure it out here in just a minute, but uh, Tolbert, Tolbert, that's it. Um, once they lost him, you would think like that whole offense is going down. No, 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 my friends. Jalen Wayne is a stud. Uh, Cole Tucker at number eight, Northern Illinois, he was also a stud. They run the ball a lot there, but they're going to find the way to get him the ball a lot more, I would imagine, this season. Number seven, Jalen Hall. From Western Michigan, Uh, let's see, he actually transferred to Western Kentucky. Now, that Western Kentucky offense is going to be interesting this year. They brought in Jared Dagey, the quarterback from West Virginia, who was at Bowling Green before that. So, you got a guy like that that's already got some experience. You bring in a guy like Jalen Hall that's already got some experience. Um, Western Kentucky could find some interesting interesting plays this year, I would imagine. Uh, Number six is Puka Nakua from BYU. Uh, big play guy, of course. I would imagine we'll see quite a bit of him, especially with some of the changeovers that they had at skill positions. Tyler Algier is gone. They might look to lean on the pass a little more this year. I would doubt it. But regardless, they've got this guy out there, and he'll be able to make plays. Jake Bailey, wide receiver at Rice. He's number five. Uh, he is headed over to SMU. He transferred, and he is going to do big things, I would imagine, in that offense. Uh I mean, he's, he's nearly one full point. He's .95 PPA. Number four. Now, this is where it gets interesting because you got two guys from the same team that are both awesome. And offense was certainly not the problem for this team, but Charlotte. Number four, Victor Tucker at .976. And then number two for them is Grant Dubose, and he's 1.305. You've got two stud receivers. Uh, you got Chris Reynolds, the quarterback there, that's going to be able to do some big things under Will Healy, and the question, of course, has been, can they get their defense fixed? And, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Number three here is Tank Dell, uh, Nathaniel Dell, as it lists here over at Houston. He should have a pretty big year because Houston starting running back, of course, tore his ACL. He's going to be out for the season. He tore that in spring. And Tank Dell is going to be their playmaker. He is their dude. Um, I think there's a chance he could end up returning uh, kicks this year. Uh, 1.105 is his PPA per play. I mean, he he's a stud. Like, Tank Dell is, is probably going to be drafted in the NFL. And then number one is Allie Jennings. Now, Jennings barely got in on this list because you had to have at least 50 countable plays as far as the list goes. But, I mean, every time he touched the ball for Ricky Ronnie's offense, uh, 1.312 predicted points added per play. Like, Allie Jennings looks to be the real deal, um, but only 50 plays. So we'll see. We'll see. Now, that'll move us down. Let's look at the total PPA here. Number 10, we already talked about Puka Nakua. Uh, We'll add in here Dante Cephas. Now, he is at Kent State. They are changing over quarterbacks. But Sean Lewis's offense definitely lends it to where you can actually uh, make a lot of plays because you're going to get a lot of opportunities. So, Dante Cephas at 9 for total PPA. Rasheed Rice at SMU. Uh, he had 77 countable plays, 63.615 overall PPA. Ryan O'Keefe at UCF, uh, big-time playmaker, stud, absolutely in that Gus Malzahn offense. They're going to run the ball a lot, but anytime you run the ball a lot and those safeties get drawn in, those cornerbacks get drawn in, O'Keefe's going to be able to take it over the top. So I like that. Zachary Franklin at six here, UTSA again. Uh, we did have Cephas, um, not Cephas, excuse me, uh, DeCorian Clark for average PPA, but Zachary Franklin is, I mean, just Mr. Reliable. Number, he's 114 countable plays here. Uh, pretty good. Like, you'll be able to rely on him. Number five here is Allie Jennings. Of course, I brought him up. He was number one as far as a PPA per play basis. Number four, Trevon Rudolph. 
and he's at you and I. So that's another guy from Northern Illinois that is, you know, may not get the ball a ton. I mean, he, 92 countable plays is pretty good, but hey, this is a team that likes to run the ball. You're going to be able to find these guys open more oftentimes than not. Number three, again, we're back to Charlotte. Grant Dubos, uh, 61 countable plays at 79.629 PPA overall. And then you've got Jalen Cropper from Fresno State. Of course, Jake Hayner, the quarterback, is coming back. Jeff Tedford comes in. He already knows how to run Kalen DeBoer's offense. I think he probably taught it to Kalen DeBoer, to be completely honest. Uh, Jalen Cropper had 124 plays last year, 82.878 PPA overall. And then number one here is, of course, as I just mentioned, Tank Dell, Nathaniel Dell over at Houston, had 113 countable plays last year, 124 PPA. Just an absolute banger, and he's going to be awesome because Clayton Toon is going to be really, really good this year if we take anything from Dana Holgerson's career. It's any time he has had a quarterback for multiple years. In his last season with uh, Dana Holgerson, he has his best year. So look for a huge year from Clayton Toon, and I think Dell is going to be a massive part of that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.